My name is Emily Shiflett. I am 23. I like to go for long walks on beach. I love to dress up. didn't notice anything that was wrong with her birth or anything like that. Everything was normal. Uh, and later on, I used to take her to daycare, and I found out that after a period of time, she wasn't meeting what the other kids were doing. Six months, she was still lagging terribly behind, unable to sit up, unable to roll over. Um, and that's when he agreed with us that something wasn't right. And so for three years, we searched for a diagnosis. My name is Emily Shiflett. I am 23. I have Rett syndrome. Rett syndrome was only diagnosed with um, symptoms at that point. There was no blood test available. Um, so we were sent to uh, Kennedy Creeker and met with um, an expert there who concluded, who said, yep, I think you're right. This does look like Rett syndrome and your life is going to change. Um, and it can vary from a child who may be able to walk to a child who will never walk, to a child who may be able to eat on her own, to a child who may need a G-tube, um, to a child who may have seizures constant, to a child who may not. So what you're hearing is that there was a wide range of what her life could be, and we suddenly had to deal with the unknown. One in 10,000 girls are diagnosed each year. Not all of us are the same. I'm Jeanette Foster. I'm a pulmonologist, and I help take care of her respiratory infections. Today's is just kind of a check-in. There have been some issues in the past few months with the gurgling that I had been in contact with her primary care physician about. Okay. And one of the things I wanted to check up on is how it's that resolved. Yes, this is a, a CAT scan of her chest. And one of the issues with her lungs is the shape of her chest cavity where the scoliosis and the deformity of the chest cavity actually changes the shape and direction of the airways making a natural drainage of mucus more difficult and it just sets her up to turn a mild little infection into something really severe and that's one of the reasons why she needs to have such close follow-ups. Uh, my name's Christina Bowser. I'm an RN, and I'm Emily's day shift nurse. Um, I arrive at 8 o'clock in the morning, and Emily is just um, starting to wake up for the day. Her mom or dad gets her up into the bathroom, and I do her, her daily care and her mouth care and uh, care to her Mickey tube. I can say it's, oh, it's a joy working with Emily every day. She is a wonderful young lady. Uh, she's, even though she's nonverbal, she's a very, she's very intelligent. And she's, there's more going on up in that head of hers than what people give her credit for. I have something to tell you. I can't walk, but I can win a wheelchair race. I like to look up tattoos, jewelry, and cute animals on Pinterest. I can understand what you are saying, so just wait for my response. You ready to get up? Oop, I lost the syringe. There it is. Let me get you. Yes. Okay. Let me double check that. You ready to get out of bed? No. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. We'll get you up. Her, her typical day, every day is different for Emily. 
She has music. She has Toby. She goes to yoga. Uh, every Monday now for five weeks, she went to ice skating. Uh, she goes to Hershey Bears hockey games. It's just become part of our lives. Um, it is pretty nonstop. Um, but in there, we try to squeeze in some fun things. And we just do things. I mean, people watch us as we hook her up with her feeding pump and I see them looking and at first I was a little uncomfortable with it and now I'm like, this is how she eats. She's like a little puppy. She's sooner set in a car than sit here at home. I often said if she gets mad, I just put her in a car and we drive around a block and she was all happy. Do you want to sing to me? I think so. Here we go. Ready? Hello. Hello, Sarah. Hello, how do you do? Hello, Sarah. Hello to Sarah. Hello, how do you do? Hello, Sarah. We're here in Hello, music Sarah. today. And it's good to Hello, see you. Sarah. Good shaking. But she likes to tell jokes, too. Um, you know, Hello, she's, she is definitely an extrovert in a body that doesn't allow her to fully do that which it's been interesting to see how she brings people in. She'll just stare at you, and then the eyebrows will go up. Helps if you're male, too. <laughs> Did you find me any single guys yet? Moms, lock up your boys. I am available. What we've learned through all of that is that Emily has a wonderful sense of humor. Um, she is very um, nixy. Nixy is a Pennsylvania Dutch term, meaning she's a little troublemaker. I like to mess with the principal. Um, so they pulled her out of the room and said, you need to take this test. And she just refused to. She was crossing her eyes and doing raspberries and just being honestly a jerk. <laughs> and her teacher said, listen, you got to straighten up because if you don't straighten up, you're going to get in trouble and you're going to go down to the principal's office. Well, I guess she thought, yeah, right. Well, yeah, right happened. I then had to come in and have a discussion with her and said she needed to straighten out. And she looked at me and said, she started to laugh. And I had to leave the room because I was laughing. <laughs> so um, I, you know, it, it, I was just pleased that my kid got in trouble <laughs> um, because that was something normal. I was with regular education classes. I was a cheerleader at Central Delphin. We had wheelchair races down the hallway, but don't tell okay, the principal. I, my money's that I'm going to win. <laughs> and he'd be playing a piano. She'd be sitting there watching him and just taking it all in. And, she, and the jazz band. She liked the jazz band because that was a lot of fast moving music. And she was into the jazz band. She had, she had art, too. She liked art for some reason. When she started creating on the Toby, we said, wow, you know, we can make note cards with this and family would um, like them. We originally created the cards as uh, holiday gifts for family and friends. They were well received. Uh, when we posted something about her being creative and how she's using her Toby to do more than just communicate, but to create, people said, I want no cards too. We sold um, we sold 50 packs of cards immediately. We sold out, and so we're into the second printing of them. And so a portion of those, uh, the profit will go to the Ret uh, Research Trust Foundation or fund, um, in the hopes that it'll be just a little bit of money. But then she is giving back to the community that is working so hard to find a cure. Emily uses her eyes to create. So um, Emily will be a little teacher um, sometime in the fall, um, and she will show students and possibly their parents how she creates her cards or her artwork um, using her eyes. You know, just because she can't talk or use her hands, she still can be very creative. And that's what we wanna get across to the students and to the community that, um, there's a lot going on in that little head. And uh, she's creative like her mother. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Emily Shiflett. 
I am 23. I am an artist. And I am an educator. What we learned along the way is that the best healers did the following. They listened, not just with your ears, but with your heart. Do your best, if only for a moment, to turn off your head. Sit down and engage in a conversation with me. Get to know me. Make yourself vulnerable by trying to walk in our shoes. Remember, we are more than a number or test result. We are your teachers, your parents, your neighbors, your classmates, and your future. Thank you.